Here is a problem from my math lab in which we need to graph the linear inequality 6x minus 8y is greater than 24. I'm going to do this problem using intercepts and the test point method. So here's some scratch paper with my inequality. Notice it has a greater than, not a greater than or equal to on it. So I'm going to graph the line 6x minus 8y equals 24, but I have to use a dashed line, not a solid line. Now I need to find the intercepts of my line. So I'm going to start with the x-intercept, which means we plug y equals 0 into this equation here. So I get 6x minus 8 times 0 equals 24. 8 times 0 is 0, so we get 6x equals 24. Divide both sides by 6, and we get x equals 0. So my x-intercept is the point 4, 0. Now to find the y-intercept, we set x equals 0 in this equation right here. So I'm going to get 6 times 0 minus 8y equals 24. Well, 6 times 0 is 0, so negative 8y equals 24. Divide both sides by negative 8, and we get y equals negative 3. So my y-intercept is 0, negative 3. So now we need to graph our dashed line. So let me go to my math lab. I'm going to click to enlarge the graph. Here's my line graphing tool, but we have to pick the dashed line here. And my x-intercept was 4, 0. When I'm moving the cursor around, look up here, and you'll see the coordinates of the point I'm hovering over. So I start at the origin, and I go to 4, 0. And then my y-intercept was 0, negative 3, so start at the origin and go down to negative 3. There is my line. Now I need to decide, am I going to shade above it or below it? Using the test point method, I need to pick a point that is not on my line. The most efficient point to pick is 0, 0. It's not on my line in this case. So that's the test point that I'm going to use. And I plug it into the original inequality. So I get 6 times 0 minus 8 times 0. Is it greater than 24? Well, is 0 greater than 24? No, that is a false statement, so I do not want the region that contains 0, 0. So going back to my graph, I need to shade a region, so you use this bucket, which is the shading tool. I do not want the region containing 0, 0, so I want the region that is below the graph. So now I am done. Now I hit save and check my answer.